whether it's in the area of business, whether it's in the area of real estate, whether it's in the area of education, or even in politics in the House of Commons, where Punjabi is a fourth most common spoken language, we realize how far we as a community have come. You come into a riding like mine in Brampton Springdale with the largest Indian demographic in the country, and we take a look at the initiatives, and initiatives like the new Brampton Civic Hospital, which has had its emergency ward named Guru Nanak Dev Ji Emergency Ward. And that, my friends, is another sense of achievement and accomplishment for our community. You turn on the TV channels. And Dr. Bajwa is here uh, in the back, who has uh, done a great effort in spearheading some of the fundraising efforts. So Dr. Bajwa, congratulations. You take a look when you turn on the TV channels, and we see the commentary from so many people from our community. And my friends, those achievements and those accomplishments of many of you in this room and so many other of our South Asian community members across the country, that is what inspires our young people to continue to be proud of who they are and to continue to really believe in themselves. And that is why today for myself, it is with a great deal of pride to not only have the opportunity to come and meet with many of you, but to participate with each and every one of you in the launch of SUPNA. Because, my friends, I can tell you, each and every person in this room, we as a team, we're on our way to making history. Having had the chance, again, to travel, there are many people in our community who have not had the opportunity to succeed as we have. And one of those reasons is their health. You take a look at these great posters that have been designed, and I think on our name tags as well, and it talks about living a dream. You can only live a dream if you are alive. You can only live that dream and enjoy your wealth if you have your health. And that is why the statistics that Dr. Kumar spoke about are so incredibly important. The statistics where our South Asian community has a higher incidence of cardiovascular disease, of diabetes, of higher cholesterol, and higher blood pressure. We realize how much we need to do. We realize all of the talent that is going to waste when we have people who are young and healthy and perhaps not overweight who are dying, people who are sick from our community who really need help. And that is why I think each and every one of us in this room have an incredible role to play through SEPNA. You take a look at some of the statistics that say that the South Asians below 50 have over a 50% chance of suffering a heart attack. Or the statistic of in 2010 that India and the Indian population will account for over 60% of the world's heart disease. My friends, we have work to do. We take a look at the statistics in Canada in 2006, where South Asians, our South Asian community, is at 1.26 million in Canada. We are the largest ethnic community in the country. We have a responsibility. We have a great responsibility to reach out and help those who truly need it. I remember when I was first elected in 2004, I had a chance to meet with both Prem and Preeti after hearing many stories in the community where people weren't getting the access and the help that they needed. And why was that? Because they couldn't speak English. They could only speak Punjabi or Hindi or Bengali. They were going to the hospitals and having to wait for hours and hours because they had difficulty communicating in the right language. And that in itself was a tragedy when we have so many people from our community that are employed. Just a few weeks ago, I remember I had another constituent whose mother had been diagnosed with cancer, had suffered brain damage, and was on life support, and the family didn't know what to do. Their level and knowledge of English was so limited, 
And it was at that time that I was so fortunate to be able to call upon people like Dr. Bajwa, who were there to meet with a family, to talk to these auntiejis and these uncleejis in a language that we and they understood. Many of my friends here were the converted. I'm sure that great picture that Dr. Kumar showed of the matai and the laddus and the jalebis are not eaten by very many people here, except at weddings. But for the average person out there, they are sitting at home, the auntie jis and the uncle jis. They are watching ATN and they are eating those laddus and they are eating those smosas and they are eating all of those jalebis. And they're like, "Beta ji, get me one more, and Beta ji, get me one more, and Beta ji, Korea, then Beta ji, we don't want two percent milk, we want homo milk." You know, and those are stories that I'm sure all of you can relate to. And when you take a look at that auntie ji, that is why sapna is so incredibly important. It's not about puja or the ruby dal or the pram or preeti or rav or the great board and team that they introduced. This is about helping those people whose language. Whose first language is not English. It's about reaching out into the community. It's about empowering, and it really is about educating. It's about setting up that health fair trade show to ensure that we reach out and educate, and we talk to them at a language and in a language that they can understand.